All right, so what we'll be doing in this video is this. We'll be starting by creating the script that excludes the points on the end, then showing you how to create it into a cluster, and then showing you how to turn that into your own custom component that shows up here as user. So at the end, you'll know how to create custom components and clusters, which is very useful if you haven't gotten into that or if you're new. All right, so to start, let's bring in a line segment. So I'll go here to polyline, create a line segment, and I'll bring this into grasshopper. So I'll go here to curve, set one curve. And the cool thing about grasshopper is that, let's say I wanted to divide this curve, I can go here to divide curve, and I can use either length, distance or this divide curve let's say i'll use this one plug in the curve input and then for the count we'll just say eight what's interesting is let's say i want to divide it but what happens is we get a point at the beginning we get a point at the end and then i just want to extract the mid points or the points within that line segment so what I'm going to do here is rather than using this divide curve, we're going to be creating our own component that will take care of what we want it to do. So what we'll do here is let me show you a trick to do that. There are different ways that we can achieve this, but what we're going to do is take these points. I'm going to go to list item. And then a length or list length component. List length is going to let us know how many points we have. So we can plug this in, flatten the input, and then we'll see for the length output, it's going to tell us we have nine points. Then we're going to create a series of points or a series of numbers that have a count minus two, So nine minus two, it'll be seven numbers here. It'll step by one. We'll be selecting those points. It'll step by one and we'll be creating the start at one. now that we plug this into the index oh that's not the step is incorrect it's start by one so what it's doing is we're creating a series of numbers we know we have to remove two points the last one and the first one that's why we subtract by two and we start at one because this would be zero and if we start at one and then it only selects the inside ones. What I'll be doing is creating a cluster from this. So what I'll do is I'll move this over, bring in another empty curve component. I'll be plugging in a, bringing in a number component, an empty one, and plugging this in, and you'll see why we're doing this. The reason why we're doing this is basically to organize and to have things already labeled when we create the cluster. And now here I'll go to point, and I'll be creating two of these. So now I'll disable preview on all of this. We'll have the points. I'll disable the preview on the curve. And now what I'll do is, now that I know that this is the new component that I want to create, because a lot of times this is what I want to do is just extract the points inside. 
Then what we'll do is we'll select these and we'll do a middle click cluster. Now you'll see here that it creates a cluster. This is really cool and very useful because if we wanted to do that to any other curve, we could just copy this component and use it over and over again. So this trick is very useful. Um, you can also create a little icon and change the icon. You can change the name and do all of those things. But here's a cool thing. Once you've created, let's say a cluster like this one and you wanna use it over and over again, you can select it, go to file, create user object. Once you do this, make sure that you can na name this. So name this whatever you want. You can nickname it whatever you want give it a description. But what you want to do is make sure you click on user or have this under user because that's user is going to be you. Once you hit okay, it'll actually create a tab, which you can use to create your own clusters. So I had created this one before, which is the same one that I just showed you how to do. I'm going to start keeping mine organized here. Uh, for now, I've been keeping them in a separate location, but I just wanted to show you this very useful trick for any of you that like to use Grasshopper a lot and want to create your own set of scripts, components, and clusters. At the end here, I wanted to share with you guys when you go to the website and download this script, this is what you're going to see. At the top, there you're going to see the original video script that we created here. So if you don't wanna see that, you can disable the preview because these are technically all overlapping. Um, this is the example of the cluster. And then this is the example of the cluster when it's organized and it has a label. You can also select it, go to file, create user object, and then it'll show up on your tab here if you wanna use that in the future. So that is how you use this. If you have any questions, please reach out and let me know how I can help you.